You're watching your local news leader. This is WCIA 3 News at 6.30. The state has provided uh, big grants, the business interruption grants for, well, now around 2,000 of those bars and restaurants. But our Target 3 investigation found more than a million dollars in grant funding went to businesses the state lists as dissolved. Illinois distributed millions in federal funding from the CARES Act, but now new questions about how that money was allocated. The state ran out of available money after two rounds of the business interruption grant program, but this report comes just as Congress is sending more relief money. Capitol Bureau Chief Mark Maxwell is live in Springfield with the story. Mark, how could the state send money to a dissolved business? Paul, it's a good question. The CARES Act included restrictions and protections on the relief money for the Paycheck Protection Program. So if you weren't in business, you wouldn't qualify for a loan at your bank. Illinois, when they started doling out $275 million in these grant funds, they tried to make sure people who couldn't get in line for the PPP did get funding this time around. And in dozens of cases, those grants went to companies that are no longer in business. For businesses affected by the virus, please apply for the business interruption grants that we created to help you through these times. Governor Pritzker encouraged businesses to sign up for COVID relief funds. We gave priority to businesses who haven't received PPP. Especially businesses who could not get a loan through the Federal Paycheck Protection Program. To apply for grant funding, businesses had to attest they were open on March 1st, would try to stay open all year, and would use the money exclusively for costs and losses incurred due to the business interruption caused by COVID. And Pritzker warned businesses who took grant money but defied his COVID restrictions would lose the funds. The fact is that uh, anybody that took any uh, business interruption grants uh, that is not following the law will have those taken away from them. But our investigation found at least 72 businesses who won a total of $1.1 million in grant money are listed as dissolved in state records. The Department of Revenue confirmed 33 of them are in fact closed. They had no records of 19 more. A senior attorney with the Secretary of State's office said if they got a business interruption grant, then that's fraud. There's some dysfunction there. 16 of the 72 businesses we found listed as dissolved still have an active account to pay some form of state tax, an indication they may just be late in filing their paperwork with the state. Pritzker administration has to do better. But Republican State Senator Jason Barrickman says transparency is key when the state is passing out so much money in such a hurry. And when the government does this, when they rush to, to, to put money out into the community and around the state, um, sometimes mistakes happen. For now, this grant program is closed. DCEO has closed the latest round of BIG big grants with the hope that federal support will allow it to reopen applications. But more small business relief could come through Illinois in the American Rescue Plan. None of these grant programs are perfect. State Senator Sarah Feigenholz gave the Pritzker administration a pass this time. I think everybody did the best they could. And um, do we need to revisit how we do the next round with some of the money coming our way? You, 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 we will. And try and, um, you know, correct those mistakes. Great. And maybe recover some of the money that was fraudulently taken. Our investigation also found dozens of businesses that are not in good standing with the state. We didn't include them in this count because that may mean they just lapsed in filing their paperwork, and some of those lapses were more recent. But to give you an idea of the timeline here, dozens of these businesses we found, out of those that closed, five of them dissolved in the 1990s, and one of them dissolved in 1987. Reporting in Springfield, Mark Maxwell, WCI3, your local news leader. Long before the pandemic, Mark, thanks. Now, the Department of Commerce and Economic Opportunity said, quote, even with the program now closed, DCEO continues to review compliance matters brought to our attention and has taken steps to address non-compliance that we discover, including clawing back funds in some cases, and warned, quote, any violation of their agreement will put their grant status in jeopardy and could result in the state pursuing a return of funds.